It's time to have that conversation about Lamar Jackson. It's time. Lamar Jackson is the best quarterback in the NFL this season. Now, first things first, before you get too riled up, before you get surprised about that statement, I just want to let you know right now, stats will not prove my point here. Statistics will not help prove my point. This is not a statistical argument right here. I don't have much to argue when I'm coming about stats. This has nothing to do with that. When I'm talking about Lamar Jackson being the best quarterback in the NFL this season, I'm strictly referring to his abilities and skill set with the ball and controlling an offense. It's clear that that the Ravens are not there for stats and glories. They want wins in the win column. And that's what's been going on. But my main thing here and why I say Lamar Jackson is the best quarterback in the NFL as of right now is because of the consistency that I've seen in his play. The consistency in his throwing accuracy, the decision making, the reading of defenses. And most importantly, this man is protecting the ball like no other I mean, it's not a statistical argument, as I've said, but protecting the ball and limiting turnovers is one of the best ways to help your team secure a win. And that's what he's been doing. I mean, Lamar Jackson, he has the least amount of interceptions thrown for any quarterback who's played at least 15 games this season. He hasn't thrown more than two interceptions in a single game except one time this entire season. The 49ers Brock Purdy cannot say that. Dak Prescott cannot say that. Chiefs Pat Mahomes cannot say that. Eagles Jalen Hurts cannot say that. Tua Tagovailoa cannot say that. Lamar Jackson is consistently consistent in protecting the ball game after game, and this is helping his team win ball games night after night on a weekly basis, I should say. But another thing, too, to consider here, and the reason why I say Lamar Jackson is the best quarterback in football right now is because alongside his consistency, his decision decision making is sharp he's getting rid of the ball before things go bad he's escaping a sack whenever it comes to him I mean he's running his absolute last option as, as running the ball whenever he's gonna run the ball it's his absolute last option rather than trying to make that his first or second option he's looking at all of his targets on the field before he actually takes off and run the ball no one escapes sacks like Lamar Jackson, and as calm as he does, he doesn't panic when he's in the pocket. He doesn't panic when he's outside of the pocket. That man is cool, calm, and collected at all stages. If he's going to get sacked, he takes the sack. I mean, as simple as that. He's not going to force anything. He's not going to force a penalty. He's not going to force a fumble. He's simply going to remain calm and take the sack. Next play it is. We messed up, but let's get back to it. And that's something that I've loved, that, that I've seen improve over the course of time with Lamar Jackson, is, is that, that, that ability to remain calm in the pocket whenever things go bad. And his throws, in terms of his passes, I mean... I, have you watched the game? <laughs> like, man, his throws on the run has been impeccable. In the pocket, unbelievable. His cross-body throws that people assume only Patrick Mahomes could do, unbelievable. This man has been balling out of his mind, and it's clear to me that he is the favorite for MVP. A lot of people slept on him because they didn't see what he could really do. They weren't really watching games. They were beating teams by a good margin, so they weren't really paying attention to him. But as soon as they played that bad team over in San Francisco, bad meaning good, people opened their eyes. And they're like, damn, a, a, a number eight over in Baltimore is kind of nice. 